welcome back to our channel where we move and improve i am Safi Nolal if you're new here thank you very much for clicking into this video karibu sana if you're new here karibu tena if you're a returning subscriber kindly kindly consider subscribing if you still haven't i'll be very very grateful so i just want to give you guys an update of how my life has been so far i didn't post for two weeks consecutively because i felt like i needed i, I felt like i needed a break i felt like um i don't know i just didn't feel like recording anyways i took my break and just as my break was about to like isha like when it was about to be over i just came up with a business idea i really really got excited about it and so i've been trying to execute it which again has made me not be able to post as often as i had promised i thought i'd be able to post every wednesday and saturday but seeing that i'm in the process of beginning this small business of mine it will take away all my energy and all my time and so i won't be able to post maybe twice a week i i had i had wanted but in case i have like content to put out there i ha i'll be i'm not limited i'm not limited to just one video per week but i won't be able to do two videos because i feel like i have a lot on my plate plus it's the beginning i don't know how things will go and then it's a sole proprietor type of business where i am the producer i'm the manufacturer like i do everything on my own i'm really excited about it i don't mind the hassle and i don't mind how tired i'm about to be these days but anyway we pray that god blesses the business so that i grow so i wanted to just tell you what i'm doing right now because whatever i'm doing right now is in relation to like the growth of my business and and um just trying to like put things together so that i can be i can i can be able to start posting soon um my page my business page is called needlecraft.ke needlecraft ke so in case you want to support me go on my page and follow and then wait patiently for the things that I'm, I'm going to be dropping so right now um so these are the like right now i'm trying to make dust bags for my product so since i'm doing everything on my own i have to do this on my own as well um these are materials that i had already cut out and ironed so you see this is this is what it looks like and then i just ironed the top here because i'll be stitching this part to close it like this so whatever what you do is stitch here stitch here and then close this part so in case you're a small business peer and you'd like to do like you'd like dust bags you can maybe talk to your local tailor this is something that is so simple they can do for you and then let me show you the, the ones that i've already done so this these are examples of the ones that i've already done i have like a black ribbon that i'll be using to like and then you know how so you know how it will look i think i'll show you once i put the ribbons right now i'm just dealing with the sewing so this is how the bags look like i think my customers will be happy <laughs> because i know packaging packaging is really really important so i'm really trying to make my packaging a1 so that is what i'm working on right now i don't know whether that is all i'll record for today and i don't know whether this will be like many videos stitched together what the, the vlog i don't know how to vlog honestly but if i'll see that i need to like incorporate other videos in case i do something else in this one i will show you guys so anyways i want to to sew this ones to see what i sew anyway that thing i think it will sumbua me for the rest of my life so i'm done doing my dust bags here they are here they are and now the last part is just inserting this I bought the ribbons, the black ribbons, just inserting them inside to make the, you know, that effect. So let me do that and then I'll come back and show you what 
they'll be looking like. hey guys i'm hoping you're all well i'm hoping you're doing well this is yet another day another night probably because okay for me not probably another night so it is around 12 16 a.m at night i'm a night owl so i function mostly with siku kamasai i sleep very very late around three uko four here like uko so if you're a business owner if you're a small business if some if you're someone who's running a small business i'm a big business and you're successful i really need tips because i'm starting my small business and i am very serious and intentional about it i am very happy to be doing it because it's something that i, lo I love creating like I'm very crafty and hands-on. I remember in my first video in Kisama, like I'm very I'm very handy. And then people people came at me like my friends were like, <laughs> like anyway, that's just a story for another day. But I'm I'm a very, very I'm sort of like I'm a crafty person. I'm someone who believes like I can do anything. Like <laughs> it is always in my mind actually i've never even like said it out loud because it always looks like what do we call it magicambo it looks like like you're tooting your own horn like but anyways i am crafty kind of sort of <laughs> but i actually am and um in the midst of me taking a break i like i don't know if you've seen the video of me doing my dust bags I, i'm not i haven't decided that it will come before this summer after this but I, I made that way before at the beginning of the week today is a friday i'm supposed to post this video tomorrow morning so i just decided to do it right now um i've been doing a lot in regards to trying to like make everything to put everything together so that i start this business of mine the business is whatever i'll be doing is i'm making wigs like literally kuzishona nazishona alafu i'll be selling them and then i'm also like making jewelry and accessories basically so that will include earrings bracelet like this one right now i'm wearing it for the purpose of this video so that i show you guys like this it's even not like the camera is not doing it justice because in real life it, it's really shiny the colors are really popping so these are some of the things that i'll be posting on my instagram page my business page again it's called needlecraft.ke please go follow and then you wait for me to start posting these wonderful things and then you buy and and make my business advance so um what did i want to tell you guys i wanted to tell you that like some of the things, some of the hacks that I'm learning, some of the things that I've learned so far, I haven't even started, but like I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube, like some videos on TikTok, some plugs that are that have been very, very helpful. Like when, whenever like you're, you're starting a small business, like I feel like branding is very, very important these days, branding yourself nicely. And so it can be a bit expensive, when you like branding can be a bit expensive when you want to like your packaging you want your packaging to be 
branded so that they look pretty and all that and then people are able to know you you get what i'm saying so it's a bit expensive and i opted for something that is a bit beginner friendly as i advance obviously i'll go to the like classy chic like the the nice the nicest of things but right now i'm only starting and i'm working with limited capital so i have to do things within my budget so um in, like river Road, if you want like bags like hockey bags for your business let me show you the bag that i got oh, these are the bags that i got i know i've seen so many people like many many bags on on tiktok i had gotten a plug that that they were to do like the branding of my 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 mini my business name and everything but just the trick was you can only order a minimum of a hundred pieces and whatever bag i wanted was 40 shillings per piece and that would mean i needed to spend four thousand shillings on just the packaging and i'm just starting i don't have like the luxury of spending four thousand shillings on bags a hundred bags and these bags were meant for the wigs and i, I, I like after all like i'm not starting with a lot of wigs because again buying the wigs is expensive so but as i advance as i grow i'll be able to afford like so abupia it's saving you a lot of money if you buy like a hundred bags you won't think of buying bags maybe for like a month so with me i just needed to start with 20 i bought 20 and i got each you see with the other ones it was cheap but you buy many but this one i could like you can buy any amount and i bought i bought each bag at 45 both and they're not branded so in as much as it's a win it's also not a win but it's more of a win because i only spent 900 bob to get the 20 bags and yeah so what i decided to do i decided to buy stamps so the stamps is what i'll be using to like brand my bags so let me show you. i think there's a bag that let me show you <laughs> so oh my god i'm making a mess so you can't see properly because hmm. i'm shooting with a selfie camera so everything is inverted right now but this is how I am branded. So I bought two stamps. One for Needle Craft KE, Uniquely Divine. And the other one is to show my handles where you can get me and the number, WhatsApp number, the number you can call me with and things like that. So this is a bit affordable. And then if you've already seen how to make the dust bags, I don't know if, I think this video, sh video should come after <laughs> because I'm showing you everything. So yeah 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 you can't see should i reduce it okay wait mm. oh god you see it's it's it also works on this so the dust bag the dust bags were for my wigs the dust bags were for my wigs and then I put them inside the pot and we're good to go and then i also have some thank you notes very pretty ones you see i get like packaging is very really important packaging is important you need to package your things nicely so this is what we'll be working with for now i think it's cute yet affordable um for my earrings i also bought like two small small khaki bag like they look like Basha's network, they look like envelopes. So that is what I'll be packing my earrings in. And then for everyone, like, guys, go follow me on Instagram because I'll be having what's it called? Nietzsche offers. I'm a, like rewards for people who do certain things. If you if you buy if you a certain amount, there's something you'll get. So I'm working on marketing. I don't know if I've, if I've mentioned it before because I've really made a lot of text in this video. I'm working on my marketing because I feel like that is the hardest part of it all. And so next week, I'm starting to post. I bought this yesterday. I just had to tell you guys. 
off let me add the light <laughs> oh so i bought this box yesterday it will serve as a prop for my photos for my photos yes for my photos so this is what it looks like inside those are my things that i'm using to make my earrings so i think it's just a cute box i bought it from an xuk shop and it was how much 500 bucks hmm. i feel like that's a win then have i shown you guys the earrings i'm making anyways most of my earrings will be like custom made by me and then some like I'll, it, it will be a mixture some i i like naziongeza like some sort of beauty amuzuri and things like that let me give you an example like this is an earring that came plain and then i decided to just make it more prettier by like you see what i've done there basically and then there's plenty more like this like this right now i'm i'm working with pearls mostly but i'm really looking for those stones like you know the stones that like normally the cocoa bracelets and things like that i'm i'm looking for them because Akuna Dubois for some reason. Dubois is Akuna <laughs> Akuna Uko, but I'll get them eventually. And yeah, there are some things that I've made from scratch. Like, uh, did I show you these bracelets? Did I show you these bracelets? These are some of the things that you'll be getting at my online store. Please go follow Needlecraft and I'll be grateful. This video is already too long. Let me stop at that. But please, if you have any advice for someone who's beginning a small business and really, really wants it to thrive, because I've already been fantasizing of like shipping my, like importing wigs from Japan and all that because I've seen plugs. You know how you, when you, when you search for one thing on one social media platform, Unaletewa yu sasa kila mahali. Nisha letewa mbaka, niko na plugs zaka, mbaka za kunini. Za kupata hizi wig from Japan. Za importing them directly from Japan and apparently it's very affordable. Like ukizitua uko, sijui kifiko uko utaxi tanifanya nini, but I'm really hoping this works. I'm really hoping you guys support me. Mimi nataka advice ya marketing because ukondo niko na shida when it comes to creating I believe si kombaya when it comes to creating because like most of these things I've made myself. This is what my worktop is looking like. I <laughs> but anyways I am happy to be here and I'm happy for everything that is happening. I am hoping it goes well. I'm praying to God that everything aligns in the perfect way possible and i'm praying for you as well may everything you want come true for you thank you for watching this video if you've watched up until this part and in case you have any advice tafadali tafadali drop a comment and then i'll also be sharing with you the things that i'm learning learning the the, the chums chums i get nice stuff like this is a packaging obviously come on when you be a you need them. <laughs> now, CG, like CG building, but ukini, 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 like if you, if you say you inbox me, I'm you, you, you comment up a comment section, I can try and direct you visually in case you want them. Eh, sour. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Please consider subscribing. If you, <laughs> please consider subscribing if you still haven't. Thank you. Good night or good day. Whatever it is. <laughs>